guys, Issy Cass here, and welcome back to more Super Mario Sunshine. And before I say anything else, uh, even though I've already said stuff, uh, I'm gonna head to this island. So once you are at the island, um, then you're probably gonna notice there is a, a, a yellow bird on the water. Nintendo logic at its finest. So basically, um, remember that one time I was talking about that yellow bird that I thought was here for a shine sprite? Well, that's it. Uh, I feel like its presence was triggered by getting 60 shine sprites, as in the whole place being um, light again. So yeah, keep spraying them. I'm sure you'll get what you're looking for. There it goes. Alright. So, just like all the other times, I'm gonna wanna head back over there to those pillars. And once you've made it to the pillars, you just wanna parkour your way over there. And get the shine spark. Like so. <laughs> so now on to a different note. I have not recorded in a very long time, as you may have known. Um Basically, the last video was the Nintendo Switch unboxing. And that was back literally a month ago. Like exactly a month ago. On April 5th. So, um, I also had to do a second recording of this because I the video footage was corrupted because of a bad HDMI cord. And um Basically, I hadn't recorded in a while because I was um, not feeling very well, I was busy, had a lot of schoolwork to do, and yeah, you know. So, hopefully that'll change, because now I'm feeling a bit better, and right now it's Friday. So, last time on Super Mario Sunshine, I think we did more of Milky Bay. So, let's do that. Milky Bay, Episode 4. Little Mouth's Dentist. I have a, um, an embarrassing story at this level. First. Oh, Mario! You're finally setting out for the ocean's bottom. Grandpa is waiting for you up top. Oh, don't forget to wear this. You can use this rope as a shortcut to reach Grandpa. Thank you very much. So I'll go do that. And as you noticed, um... The bay is still intoxicated, I guess, or poisoned. So let's make our way up to the top of the waterfall. So good. And let's talk to Grandpa. You look like you're ready. The gunk in the ocean is caused by a giant eel that's moved into our ancestral home at the sea floor and it's nursing some nasty cavities there. Let's take a look. Eel? Wow. The newly uncooked waterfall created a gap in the pollution that you can use as an entrance. Jump right in there. Dive in dive to the bottom of the ocean and clean that eel's teeth. Doing so will ease his pain and he'll return to whence he came. No doubt about it. Now gather your courage and dive. So basically, as you heard. There's an eel with cavities that is causing this ocean to appear. That's 
that seems very logical. Now, um, we have to drop right down there. I bet it would look really cool to look into the North Pole in first person as we do it. So, why not? That does look pretty cool. Now, you'll have this nice, peaceful, underground place until you see these four glowing red lights as you slowly descend toward them and these toxic bubbles appearing and this scary boss music. My sensors show highly toxic materials approaching. Toxic bubbles. So this is a giant eel. And guess what? It's two genders at once! Incredible! So you get close to it. It keeps spinning until it looks like it has multiple eyes. And then, uh, in its teeth. That's pretty much the entire fight. Except, at points, it will try to swallow you. Also note that you have limited air supply. For some reason, coins! They supply air for you. Because that makes a lot of sense. So, um, now I guess I should tell you my story. Um, my first time playing this, I was, like, really young, okay? I was only, like, eight, I guess. And then, my cousins were over at my house, okay? I've never experienced this boss before. So, I guess you could say that, uh, also, that guy's tooth just fell out. I was very scared when this happened. So, I immediately quit out, and not until two years later, I reattempted this boss fight. So, yeah. Also, um, my second time completing the boss fight, I do it all over again. This can take a long time if you don't do it, like, in a good way. Right now, I'm actually doing really good. This is the, like, the fastest I've ever gone before. So, yeah. Just want to keep cleaning its teeth. Oh, that's disgusting. I really want to clean that. Oh, it fell out. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, he goes back down. Okay. More air. Lots of toxic bubbles. One more. Also, as you're noticing, some of his, some of his, or is it a her, or their teeth can sometimes get dirtier. So yeah. Um, but once they've completely been uncleaned, then they will not get dirty anymore. Just. This last tooth, that'd be beautiful. It's a gold one! Remember to take proper care of your teeth. Thank you. This is when were you a dentist. And the gold tooth falls out. So you know what that means. A shine sprite. And a beautiful love heart. Aww. They love each other. Uh, I, I don't actually know what happens if you fall down here. You'll probably die. You have to start the whole thing over again. Also, my second time doing this, I died from running out of air right after I defeated the boss. Here at the Alfino Plaza. Stare into the sun with salt in your eyes. This is Noki Bay, episode 5. Il Piantissimo Surf Swim. So we're rematching this guy. Hello, you sorry excuse for a plant. 
However, you don't understand. I'm an animal. And you wanna know what animals eat? Vegetables and meat. Ho oh, ho, foolish man. You think I'm foolish for eating vegetables? Uh, I'm Il Piantissimo. Yes, that is me. And now I challenge you to a race to that flag. You mean that flag that just mysteriously appeared there? It is a race to the finish. The best time is 40 seconds. Are you at the record? Then get set and go. So, um. Basically, you gotta beat this in 40 seconds, and that was pretty weird. And that fish is gonna eat my brains. Or not. So, now this guy is kinda stupid. Why he won't use those platforms, I don't know. Instead, he thinks it's a good idea to, um. Swim? Oh. There he is, he's swimming. I win. Hello, sir. Whoa! Ha! Ah, Weiss! You are quite speedy. You are like a fish. You may not be the slow clam chopper I took you for. May we race again? Watch for me. Oh, I will. You vegetable. Alright, let's go. Now, what next level is a level that not many people are fond for. You're about to see why. Milky Bay, Episode 6, The Shell Secret. You get a pretty shell. And look at that. Sorry about that. I had to do something. Anyway, um... This level, people don't really like it that much. Let's find out why. First, let's talk to this guy. Master Mario, you become tied to our destiny, my friend. A pathway to another world has opened above our fair land. Surely you will go there. Of course, we must go there. I apologize for involving you in all this. Good luck. We'll cheer you on from here. Farewell. You think the toad's word? Yeah, say Master Mario. Just standing on the sidelines doing absolutely nothing. Anyway, what you want to do is walk on these tight ropes and make your way up to that pretty shell we saw. Anyway, uh, uh, it, okay. So, just gonna make our way over there. And, uh, also, it's very easy to fall off in this level, uh, which is just one reason why people don't like that. Okay, and then, probably uh, the only cool part about this level is this beautiful shell. So let's go inside, you've seen this cutscene, keeps cutscene, and welcome to Blockland. Where I am Tarzan, Lord of the Shapes. Anyway, this level is known for being able to fall off and die very easily. That area before was just a warm up. This is a unique precision platform. I'd say the red corn mission is not as bad, but if you don't know what you're doing, then. This level will be very hard for you. Trust me. I, uh, just like that. I proved my point. Anyway, let's try that again. The worst part is you have to start all the way from the beginning. Kids have it so easy these days. Easy games. Why can't I have easy games? 
混烟。I'm sorry if I'm not talking this much. That much because it's very hard to concentrate. I'm just gonna skip ahead until I make it back. So I finally made it back after more tries than it should have been. Now walk on this tightrope and jump up here. Now we have some Luminati confirmed triangle jumps. And then another one right here. And then another one right here. And now that we're up here, time for the easier part, but then the even harder part. So it shouldn't be too much harder. Pretty good. Over here. And then, as we follow the path to victory and freedom, there's our shine spray. And that's a secret level without a red coin mission. Let's ground pound the button. Now the only thing I feel like is hard about this is that the red coins can be a little hard to find at times. So keep your eyes peeled. Probably won't have to if you're watching this. So, you could very easily run out of time, especially for me. Also, um, yes, this one right over here. I couldn't find it the first time I did it, or did this level. You never could find it. And look at that, I'm running out of time fast, just like I said I did. Twenty seconds. And look, 
Look at that glitch. You see that yellow platform? Now it has three more on top. So let's just get our shine before I can break the game even more. Okay, so, um, I guess I should probably end it here. So, I explained why I haven't been recording. We went to Milky Bay again and found a multi gender eel. And next time, we'll be going back to Milky Bay. Next time. So, I guess. I mean, I guess I'll do some battle marks. But at the first, please be sure to like if you have any questions or anything to add. Please comment. And maybe subscribe. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.